Okay, so we're going to be working on some stances, uh, ones that you know. We're going to be working on Sanchin Dachi, and we're going to go Shiko Dachi. Two stances that are found in almost all of our katas. Okay, so they're important and they're within our drills. So we have to make sure we figure them out how to do them. So Sanchin. Sanchin Dachi is, uh, we want to think of the name. The name could mean hourglass. Uh, hourglass like this, the sand falls through, turn it over, the sand falls through. So the feet, the feet are going to be facing uh, heels out, toes on the center line of the body facing inward, okay? Uh, shoulder width of the body, we'll, we'll show that in a minute. Or it could be referred to as, um, for us, with the uh, hourglass, half moon. A half moon, you got a whole moon, you can cut it in half or you slice it and just think of half the moon. So half the moon, you're, you're occupying, you're taking. So here, I'll show you an example. Just hands on my uh, hips, just watch. My right foot is going to slide in and lock in. Both toes facing inward in front of me. They would connect if there was a line out in front, they would connect in front, my heels out. Again, slide in and lock in and sink. Slide in, lock in and sink. I, and then when I go back, slide back, slide back, slide back. What I don't want is feet forward, step forward, step forward, step forward. That's not sign chain, that's just blocking. So we slide in and out, slide in and out, slide in and out, slide in and out. And we don't do this, we don't step into it, step into it, step into it, step into it. What we do is we think of an onion, an onion. Peel the layers off an onion. Just take some onion peel, put it underneath your foot and slide it along the ground, slide it along the ground. That's the feeling, just coming off the ground slightly. No step. Don't lift your heel up and then step. So don't do this. Don't do that. So no heel up. What we want to do is slide. Slide around. Think of an onion peel. Underneath your feet, always slide. So if your heel comes up and then goes down, that's not right. We got to work on this drill. When I was a kid, this big, Go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, San Chindachi over and over and over till I could do it right. You have to do that over and over to make sure you can. So we're gonna start way back here. We're gonna start, hands on your hips. We're just gonna go forward a couple and we'll go back a couple. So remember, have your foot come in and then out and sink. Toes pointed forward in front of your body, heels out with your body. And again, forward, and again, forward, and again, forward, one more forward. Okay, make sure they stay wide, not in tight, okay? And we go back, and go back, and go back, and go back, back to a Gigi Dosh. So if your feet are in tight, and you're real tight, and your legs are in tight, there's no balance. Your tree, big tree is gonna break, it's gonna snap the, the trunk. Go on to Shikodachi. So with Shikodachi, uh, Shikodachi is, uh, can be straight, parallel. We can be parallel Shikodachi, parallel Shikodachi, or we could be 45 degree Shikodachi. We could be 45 Shikodachi. So my back foot would be parallel to the wall, which if there's no wall, then just straight. My front foot straight, not uh, zero. 90 connects behind me. Okay, so you gotta make sure you're good with your math. Now, Shigurachi. This is one stance that people don't like. Sometimes we say horse stance. Well, uh, could be a horse stance, but we just make you think of a horse. Now, what I don't wanna see is people thinking this is Shigurachi. Your hips up, your legs slightly bent. That's just lazy. Shigurachi you wanna think of your knees are gonna be pulled back behind you and you have to sink down. Sink down Shikodachi. Your bum is on the same line 
as your knees. Not up. This isn't Shikodachi. That's a lazy person, Shikodachi. Sink down, Shikodachi. Low. Your legs go out. Feet go underneath them. What we don't want to do is have your knees come in. No support underneath. So I want your knees to come out and pull back. Pull your knees back behind you. Shikodachi. You could stay in this Shikodachi stance for many hours. Or maybe not so much. Okay, so Shikodachi. Out and straight down. Feet 45 degrees. Now, other parts of Shikodachi. What mistakes are is people get into Shikodachi and they step into Shikodachi and they're leaning forward. They're leaning forward. Their chest is over in front of them. Their back is forward, their chest is forward. And they wonder why they feel like they're gonna fall over. Shikodachi, what you wanna do is keep your back straight, sink down low, pull your knees, keep your chest straight, and you have some power to do techniques, okay? So Shikodachi. Uh, the two stances transitions between them. So let's go Shikodachi, we'll start Hajiji Dashi. And I'll go side Shigodachi. When I want to go straight, my back leg comes alongside. So we want to think of alongside. And then we want to transition out. Come back and over. Here, there, here, there. Back and forth. Shigodachi. So idea is my back leg, I'll go sideways. My back leg is going to transition, come side by side. Transition my hips, and now I can look this way. Come back, transition my hips, and look that way. Idea is, <coughs> excuse me, your feet have to move and try to stay on the same line. So what you don't want to do is go from here and have to try and uh, fix yourself. And try and fix yourself. Just same line. Transition, flat on same line. Side by side, step back. Side by side, step forward, back and forth, okay? So let's go Shikodachi or Shikodachi, just do a couple of them. Okay, here we go, Ichi, slide and point towards me. Me, slide and point back towards me. Sun, slide and point towards me. She, slide and point. Go, slide, Roku, slide. Sichi, slide, Hachi, slide. Ku, slide. Two, slide, and step back, Hajiji Dashi. Okay, <coughs> those are our stances. <clears throat> now, the 45 degree Shikodachi. How to step there isn't just stepping and then opening up your legs. You have to step and lock in at the end. That means taking your right leg first. Our right leg is gonna come in and then out. What I'm going to do is my back foot is going to face here. My front foot is going to face forward. 90 degree angle or 90 degree angle. So let's go right leg. So our right leg is going to be forward. My left leg is going to be facing 90 degrees. 0, 45, 90. 0, 45, 90. You got to get good with math if you can correct it. Okay, here we go. So our, just our, our feet, you can keep your hands on your belt just to make it easy to think of your feet. Our back foot, right leg, is gonna step in, shikodachi and lock it in. Lock it in, lock that leg, pull it back. You have your foot facing here, your other foot facing there, and your body is towards the center. To so do all kinds of fancy stuff, keep your back straight, don't lean over, and then step back. I'm gonna do the other side, the other side, it's gonna be the same thing. My right foot's gonna face here, my left foot's gonna go forward. So I step in and lock it in. Again, foot, foot, body, and come back. So let's do five on uh, each side. So we just switch legs each time. We start with a Gigi Dashi, right leg first. Ready, each, and come back. Left leg, knee, and come back. Sun. She. Go. Roku. Sichi. Hachi. Ku. Ju. Okay. So those are our two stances.
stances we're going to work on with our drills. I want you to fix those stances because they are found often. So they're found often for reasons. Uh, for being rooted, being rooted into a technique, transitioning into a technique, maybe down low, maybe you step high and step shikodachi back low. So there's all these movements from these two stances you have to work on them. So I'll leave you now with that review of corrections, things to do, things not to do. And you can always go back and make sure you're remembering. Uh, the next couple videos, we'll be working drills from those techniques. Okay, that's good. Great.